he was hemming and hawing and, and he couldn't make a decision and he kind of said, but I wanted to bid. And did you hear the auctioneer? He said, you got to bid. It's over now. Just turn the piece around. I mean, that's some good news. Not only is it from a furniture store in San Francisco, but it's made in Denmark. Let's start with these. <gasps> oh my gosh. All right. All right. Hey there, Locker Nuts. So today the girls and I decided to head out with Jack. And so we did the route and Jack got outbid like quite a few three times, times, right? Yeah. yeah. Times. Then we came to our favorite facility and this one no one was bidding on. So I ended up paying five bucks for it. So we'll check it out. Five bucks. We'll check it out and see what's inside of it right now. Okay, now, let's go. Okay, you ready? Let me see it in. Ooh, it's dark. All right. All right, you know what? We should probably turn the uh, light on. On your camera. It's really this dark, huh? You can see it on the camera. Oh, you can? Go ahead and get in there with the camera. Yeah, get a better view. So, what do you see in here, Grace? There's lots and lots of furniture. Mm-hmm. There's a mirror right there. I, this is what caught my eye right here, Grace. Take a look. And then this is the shelf. Oh, it has a Beanie Baby on it. Oh, that's a Diana. Diana. A purple. That's just Diana. I oh, I didn't. He oh let me my come in goodness. And look at it. He did? Yes. What the heck? That's why I did. I didn't know all this stuff was I said on the, the shelf. Record player. I said, hey, there's a record player. No, you player. said record player. I thought you meant that. No. I thought you meant that. That's a record I player. saw that, and that's why I said, let's oh, buy it for five bucks. Heck yes. Because I was trying to throw everyone off so they would just stop. What's in that case? Grace, show that case back there. Oh my goodness, I, I wanted to pull the trigger on this just because of the furniture, but yeah. seeing all this so stuff So that's why I said five bucks, because I just wanted to wrap it up. Because then he, the other guy was thinking about bidding, and I was like, oh, okay, five bucks. What do you think, Camille? Grace, can you show this table over here, honey? Right here, because I think it's super cool. Is that a, like a coffee table, or is yeah, that a bench? Yeah, it's like a It looks like a bench. It is it's a bench. coffee table. It's a bench. It's probably a bench, Mom. It's still a very modern bench. Even if it's coffee, I think it'll clean that's up really the nice. Yeah, right I think you're right. This is Deanna's stuff. Actually, yeah. this is Alameda stuff here. Yeah, so. All right, so let's take out some chairs so we can take a look and see if there's a maker mark on them, right? Do we have gloves? Because I want to make sure if we have gloves, I put them on right. A lot of people <laughs> gave me feedback about how I didn't put the gloves on. Hey, they right. gave me feedback. How could you let your wife put on her gloves backwards? Okay, well then there's that too. Okay, look at these. Uh-oh. These are metal. These are pretty dope. So these are kind of cool, and I think someone might like them. Like people are going to like this. This yeah. is cool. This is modern, older stuff. It looks like chairs that you could get in, like, country waffles. Like Country waffles. waffles. I was thinking more like in school. At you know, school. Public school but these are very modern, though. These look like restaurant chairs. Let's put them back. You might be right about that, honey. They what? look like it. Restaurant? Yeah. It's just the, uh, the, the, I think they use them in restaurants because these are very durable chairs. They're, they're built to last a long time. Girls, do you know what that is? Yes, I do. Oh, what it's just a around food, right? Yeah, it's like a lazy Susan. Oh, wait, built it's in. not spinning. Are you serious? That's cool. Yeah. You can't spin it. You can't spin it. It's unspinnable? I don't know. Okay. Does that have dancing? I don't know what that was. <laughs> Camille. Yeah. Check it out. You said you want to go on an airplane. It's just like you're being on an airplane. What seat do you want? Oh, um, this is a truck. Oh, first this is first class up here. This is all. This is first okay, class. Okay, so this is the bad seat. Oh wait, up here is first class, and so they need to have. This, no, 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 no. this is bad seats. Those, Those are bad seats. This, this, is, first, this, this is first, this is first class. This okay. is the pilot. Yeah. So, this is actually not going to be sold, and then, hold on one sec, let's start over. Girl, be quiet for a minute, let's start, okay? Okay, so this locker was actually not going to be sold, and then the auctioneer so kindly let me and another guy jump in, and he wanted to bid, and I was like, no, five bucks, because I wanted to wrap it up quick, because... He was hemming and hawing and, and he couldn't make a decision and he kind of said, but I wanted to bid. And did you hear the auctioneer? He said, you got to bid. It's over now. So, um, Ooh, yeah. 
What? Which guy? The guy with the um, YouTube channel. Oh, really? He came in, yeah. And I think it was his first oh, time. Yeah. So, anyways, if you want to bring the camera over here, he let me take a peek. I saw this. I saw this. And then I was like, okay, that it does look like mid-century modern. I thought it looked mid-century from, but you know what's funny? They had the photos on the website. It did not look mid-century. Okay. It looked junky in here. And I already kind of liked the green chairs, but I was, to be honest with you, um, I was so focused on the next locker because we thought it was going to be so great. Yeah. I was like, let's just get to the next locker. Okay. And then, and now I'm feeling like, okay, this one's going to be better. locker is going to be The next good. one, the one I bought was, isn't as good as we thought. All right, it was so let's be. go over here and open up some drawers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I just want to see if we find anything. Okay. The bag. Mm. Empty bag. It's 10 cents. 10 cents right there. People. Charges at Safeway. And then another empty one, and fourth empty. All right. It's got a nice look to it, though. It does. Let's. We're pause. gonna market it. We're gonna clean it up and market that as mid-century. That's cool. Let's take it out, and then we can get into here a little better. Okay, everyone, just turn the piece around. I mean, we've got some good news. Not only is it from a furniture store in San Francisco, but it's made in Denmark. Okay, made in Denmark. That's made. And there's a designer on here, the actual designer's name. So maybe if anyone knows that designer or is familiar with it, that's I'm pretty stoked. That's pretty cool. Okay. okay. So let's start with these. <gasps> oh my gosh, those are cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, these are pretty cool. You. Those are awesome. I'm loving them. There's five. Okay. So let's see. Is there a brand on here? Is there? Interstate? Hmm. Huh? Yeah, it looks like New York. Is That's cool. Wrong? Or something. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, we got some more. Hmm. These are larger, right? Dude, these are really nice. I like these a lot. Wanna keep them? So far, no. Keep them. Gonna sell. So far, I am pretty ecstatic about this. Yeah. I think we actually got the best one for five bucks. You know how to buy them, honey. Thank you. know you. how to buy them. Okay. <laughs> this is cool. It's a lid to a cake cover, it looks like. It's yeah. not smell good. Ooh. Now it's a little ripe. You. So, this? Yeah. What's this? I'm not familiar with. Candle horn. I don't know what this is. Can anyone tell us what that is? Because I actually don't know what that is. Huh, that is interesting. Mm -hmm. What's in the box? Did you put like a light bulb in it? Oh, wait, never mind. There's an odor though, for sure. This yeah. is musty. Musty. This bowl. That is really cool. That's really pretty. Yes. And then. I mean, look on the bottom of it. Sure. I don't see anything. Nothing? Yeah. No, but it's still pretty. It's very cool. The shapes. And then, oh, this matches this piece. So these go together. So what is that? That sits on the rim, I think. Maybe chip and dip. How cool would that be? Yeah, like 50s? It could be, totally. Totally cool. That's, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm totally wrong. If I am, please tell me. Okay. Don't, don't ask. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. I know. Okay, um, so this box is calling to me. Camille, do you want to help me or no? Okay, let's get this open. These are so cool. Are the glasses? Yes. Like drinking glasses? They're little tiny baby glasses. Look how cool they are. I love the colors. Okay, That's loving cool. this. This is actually a it's good box. Stop. I wanted to buy this one just because Graham told me he wanted to get this one cleared out. That's really right. We bought it, yeah, at first. But uh, now I'm happy we bought it. Cool. Love the pattern. Super cool. I like anything 50s. Um, and this is, I think this is Alameda up. stuff, to tell you the truth. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. Can you hold that, girls, please? Thank you. Thank you. This is really cool. This is so 70, like total, what, 50s, you think? I don't know. Love it. It's like nuts. I feel like that would be in it, you know? Nuts. Nuts. Locker nuts. Like locker nuts. Is that to hold your locker nuts? Okay, people. Oh my goodness, 20 years ago? It's That's when Faith heck was born. Old. Okay, so these are... It says 2000 and then a world on it. 
These are Mark McGuire posters. Grace just identified this as the Millennium or oh. Millennium? Millennium. Millennium. And it says $22 millennial. right there. So. so that's rare, maybe, than Princess Diana? I don't know. Let's hope, right? Yeah. Let's hope that's the only one that's worth anything out of all the Beanie Babies. Someone was a Mark McGuire fan right here. Maybe this is Mark McGuire's Who's unit. That? He's a famous baseball player in he the lives 80s. lives in Alamo. He lives right around here. Yeah. Okay. Who's that? So this is what I saw when I peeked. It is... Camille, get on eBay and look this up. Okay. These are record player. Right here. It's an automatic. Techniques. This Techniques. is good. Okay. Oh, this is good. Oh, let's see. Hold on right here. But it's in great shape. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Good. I mean, this... Techniques is good. There we go. Hey, you gotta watch this. Perfect. Wow. Okay. You should do the bottle cap challenge. I should. Do you know what that is? Yes. You of do? Of course I know what it is. What Justin? I just found out what that was the other day. It's been popular for a couple weeks now. I only know it because Pat Dees did it. <laughs> if Justin Bieber does it, we know. Right. Do you know who Pat Dees is? Justin Bieber did it? What yeah. is it? And Pat Dees 72? I didn't know that. It was really cool, too, the way he did it. You should watch. Okay, so this is super cool. Come up right here. Look that up on eBay. Come on, sold and see what you find. Okay, awesome. So another box. And there's two teapots. So, this, can you see what's on that? Hmm, what is it? Russell Wright? What do I mean? No, that? the bottom. Onida. Right? Yes. Onida. That's pretty. That is actually really nice. So these are both in great shape. Next thing we took out of the locker because it's super dark, so we're trying to take a little bit out of time now. Is this cool? It's a Hitachi, right? And it looks like a really old TV, which is super cool. And it is cool. Yeah, I love it, right? Yeah, that's neat. It's got, so, a, it's got the look. Yeah. Even if it maybe works or doesn't work, doesn't matter. It's got the look. Put that up on the bookshelf. In your... You know how you have like the gel when you buy something? He like has it with it still. That's really good. That's funny, right? Yeah. So we can clean this up and we'll take this a look and see what that's worth. Just the top of the antenna, but the antenna's still there. There's a remote over here. I don't think that the TV has a remote. <laughs> but yeah. You know what this the was, remote was? This they... was before remotes. You know what my parents, the remote was? They had yes. kids and they said, go turn the channel. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to tell you turn right the volume now, down. this is my dad, no joke, 100% in my room. Jenna! Come running down the hall as a kid. What, dad? Turn the channel. No kidding. That was my life. Okay? That's funny. Um, okay, so these fins look like they're maybe for, what, scuba diving, snorkeling? I don't know. I don't know. They're big. Yeah, they are big. Is this a golden? Gold Here's a brand right up here. Want to take a look? Fuchat. Yeah. Those are kind of cool. And then I know. Yeah, I'm going to get a ton of comments. You mispronounce that. That could be possible. No. Okay, Oops. so this is another box I got off the shelf, and it looks like there's China. Ooh. So this is. That's really sharp. So this is a Crown Victoria. Mm, lovely. More Fine China. China. Carolyn is the name. So. We already have like three whole sets of really nice china. I love china. This is a really pretty pattern. I love it. It is nice. Yeah, it's really pretty. There's okay. a lot there. Yeah, there is. It looks like mostly cups. I don't want to take it out here because we no. don't have space for everything and I we'll want to make sure we handle it very carefully. So that's we we'll give it to boxes. Camille. What? Open that down here. So this looks like maybe... Paperwork, <coughs> diving techniques, um, you know, you never know. We might be able to scan this and see if this is worth something. I know you have good luck with some of the books you get. Mm -hmm. And then there's some textbooks, and I know you said those sometimes can go for a lot as well. Those are cool. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of cool. So we'll check those out. Looks like some banking things. And then... Um, this is all personal items. What's that? A log book. Oh, it's his, what he did was logging in his scuba time. So it's a diving log. That's cool. Yeah, but this is one I just caught my eye. Look at this, people. Check that out. 
That's got a nice look to it too. Yeah, GE. Super cool. You know. Let me see if we can. I always try to see if we can find a year on it. There's the model. Look at this thing marked each time they had a quality check. Seven different quality checks. Wow. So a date code, 2539. I don't know. Could that be 1939? I doubt it. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think so. That's pretty cool, though. I was thinking more like 50s, but yeah, maybe it is older. Yeah, it could be. We have a couple more bags we'll go through. This has actually got some weight to it. I think you should save that for last. Okay. Because that to me is the most interesting. Okay. And we like to save the best for last. All right. So, okay, so we have a Sony right here. Um, speakers. That's pretty decent too. That's and newer. And a... That's probably 50 bucks right there. Yeah. It's kind of wedged in here and I don't want to damage it. So, let's see if we can take it out. One... Okay, we have one more box and one more bag left. So Camille's going to be my camera girl right now. And it looks like we have the rest of the dishes that match the, the previous ones we found. And then we also have, you have to keep them from breaking, candlesticks. Excuse me. I'm sorry. But the dust is killing me. And um, this is a press, a French press. So, kind of cool. That's to make coffee, the strong stuff, kid. Okay? <laughs> I know you like the strong stuff. Okay, so this is our last bag. All right, come on. Okay, get a good picture of it. Roll it in, get it close, all around it. So, Still round. Yeah. Let's move this box out of the way. Do you check the pocket? I didn't, honey. Maybe I should. Mm -hmm. All right, let's turn it around this way. Let's check the pocket like you suggested. What do we got? Nothing. Nothing. Wow. It's exciting. Okay, what's, <laughs> what's the brand? Look at the brand of this bag. What's that say? Z bag? Yeah. Z bag. Z bag. <laughs> Is the bag for the stuff. Okay. So, oh. What the heck is this? Oh my. This is a car park? This is definitely, definitely interesting. Oh my god. That's gosh. for a camera, right? This is, I think, something for an underwater camera. This is super cool. Oops. Oops. Looks like a Oops. battery bag. <laughs> And then, oh my gosh, this is, this is pretty cool. So, so we take a closer look. I have never seen one of these before. So, it's called a Hypertech. It's super heavy, super cool color. We're going to have to do some research on this. So, I'm guessing it's a waterproof case. So, kind of interesting. Definitely never found one of those before. So, and then this is the last thing. I'm not sure what that is. Get up close to that. What do you think that is? It's made in America. Let's look right up here. What's that say? Oh, Jack, right what do you think that is? It says oh. Merlin down there. Oh, yeah, it's just like some sort of X-ray. And here says caution. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we took out a few more pieces. We have this cool mirror. It goes to one of the dressers. And then we have another piece that looks very similar to the other dresser. Super pretty, great shape. It's got that mid-century. Gosh, there. totally mid-century. Awesome piece in a really good shape. This is going to sell. This is beautiful. And then we have a hook chest. So not... Not too much in it. Cedar, great condition, super clean. Knocked the hanky down, I need to keep that. I saw this super cool little hanky in here. A linen, kinda cool. 
So those are the rest of the pieces of furniture. Yeah. This is kind of cool. Yeah. It looks kind of like pecan to me. Yeah, you might be right. This is pretty nice. We just pulled this out. It had the front. The front of this was to the wall, so we didn't get a good shot of it until we got out here. Shape. Yeah, nice shape. It's definitely nice wood. It's just, it's not too heavy, but it's not a light piece either. But a lot of people use these as like consoles for like their family rooms to put their TV on or different things. It's great. It's yeah. got good storage. It's cool. Yeah, I think we'll sell it. Yeah. Okay, everyone. So we just finished up loading up our locker. It looks good. We have some great pieces of furniture that we're gonna clean up and we're gonna list locally or we're gonna take to the higher end markets. It's totally awesome for five bucks, people. I'm super stoked. Here's some highlights from my $5 locker. It was the best locker ever. So first, I have a bookcase stereo. We sold that for $50. Next, we had an underwater camera. I sold that for $20. Then we had an Atachi little TV from like, we think the 30s or 40s, I think 40s. And we sold that for $10. We had some really great China pieces that ended up going for only $20. Then next, we had a record player, which we thought would bring in some big money, but it ended up having a little damage to it, so we ended up selling it for $20. My favorite item of the whole locker is these really cool glassware, and I loved it. So we sold one set for $30, and the other for $25. It's a total of $55. Next, we had my chip and dip bowl, which I loved. We actually got $40 from that. Then we had the Hope Chest, which was quite heavy, but we ended up selling that for $40. Cool Bench, sold that right bright and early in the morning for $150. Cool Table and Chairs, kind of an industrial look. Those went for $200. And our biggest items of the whole locker were the awesome Danish furniture. It was two dressers, and we ended up selling those for $900. So the locker costs only five bucks. Between the auction fee, the tax, there's no dump fees, six bucks into it. And the sales, we went over those items uh, just before. There's a few miscellaneous items at the flea market. Total sales, $1,535. That leaves a profit of over $1,500, $1,529, which is a whopping return on investment of 24,608%. That's crazy. That's nuts. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. And yeah. if so, if you guys liked it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you know when our next one's coming out. I don't think we'll have quite the ROI that with this one did. But it sure was fun. From the moment that we saw the locker, nobody wanted to bid on it. And then the auctioneer let me take a sneak peek in and I offered that five bucks and he closed it out quick because he wanted to get it sold. So it was pretty awesome. Yeah, this a lot one of fun. didn't look good. And the, they actually put the photos up before the auction. So we got a sneak peek mm -hmm. with the photos, but it was dark. The Very Some of the furniture dark. was turned backwards. Yeah. And it didn't look that good, but I had looked a feeling empty. about it. It looked empty. Yeah. But, it looked empty. All the treasures were hidden around the corner. Yeah. And when we took that peek around the corner, I was like, okay, I'll go five bucks. Yeah. So, there weren't many small. boxes, but the boxes that were there were good. And the furniture turned out being a home run. Oh, and all this stuff was so exciting because it wasn't your run of the mill kind of thing. I mean, yes. these were really high end, nice items. You just don't come across them, and they were actually really well taken care of. Every single glass and bowl was like in pristine shape, everything was in beautiful shape. Yeah. I got a locker. Good taste. Good taste. <laughs> All right, you guys, so uh, stay posted. We're going to put out another video here very shortly on the next locker, but that's going to do it for this one. All right, that's wrapping our best $5 locker ever. ever. Okay, so until next time, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on, on locker, locker Nuts. Nuts. So am I off locker probation maybe? Yeah, I think you've probably earned it. So I can buy more? Sure. I think that's a good idea. I can keep doing this with you? Yeah, maybe next time try to buy one for one dollar. One dollar challenge taken. I like it. Let's do it.